Hey, here's how to build an app by simply describing it. Here's how it works. Start at appmint.io. In the prompt window, describe what you want to build or pick one of the pre-made prompts and click send. Enter your email to continue. If you already have an account, sign in. Next, select start from scratch. The agent will handle setup for you. Then enter your app name and your name. Now you're signed up and you'll see two paths. Vibe Studio, where the agent builds whatever you want. No coding required. The agent you're using right now even built this app. Studio Manager, your operations control center. Manage backend tasks, run automations, and even use a drag and drop website builder. For now, let's continue into Vibe Studio. Click continue to Vibe Studio and wait for it to load. Click the App Mint icon. That's your Vibe agent. On the welcome screen, click start building with Vibe agent. Now, just describe what you want to build. Click send and the agent begins creating your app. Let's walk through the interface. To change the theme, click the settings icon on the left. Open the command palette. Choose theme color. Hover to preview different themes or use the arrow keys. When you find one you like, press enter. Now let's look at the build helper. It's the icon with a log and play symbol. There are many options here, but let's focus on three important ones. Start preview server. This runs a full preview environment so you can see your project live. You also need this running to use the visual editor. The preview URL will look like this. Preview, your dev environment name, your organization, dev.appmint.app. Your environment name and organization are filled in automatically. Open Dev Preview. Click this to see how your current project looks in the browser. Deploy to SpinForge. SpinForge is our hosting partner and provides free hosting. Click here to deploy instantly or simply ask the agent to do it for you. Your live site URL will look like this. Your dev environment name, your organization, appmint.spinforge.dev. To preview what the agent is doing, click on Build Helper and select Open Dev Preview. We need to make sure the preview service is running. If it's not, turn it on. Then click the security notification button to open the external URL. Now you can see your site live in the preview window. Let's make some improvements. I'll ask the agent to analyze what can be improved, but I don't want it to execute changes right away. So I switch to research mode. When the button is orange, the agent will only do detailed research and give recommendations. I recommend always starting in research mode. You'll get better outcomes. Now the agent has suggested a list of improvements. I like these, so I switch to execute mode. In this mode, the agent will begin applying the changes. Here's the site before the improvements, and here's the site after. Notice it added search and filter functions. I'm checking the live site now. The changes aren't there yet. That's because we haven't deployed them to the live server. To deploy, go to Build Helper and click Deploy to SpinForge. Check the logs and watch for the success notification. Now it's live. The preview and the production site match, and the new features are deployed. Sometimes you'll want to make quick manual adjustments without the agent. Vibe Studio includes a full visual editor. Here's how to use it. Open the file manager, right click on a file and choose open with Vibe Studio. Wait for it to load. Now you have the full power visual editor, just like Wix or Webflow with built-in animation helpers. From here, you can upload files into your project, use assets and templates, style everything with full Tailwind CSS support. To change an image, click it, then click the image icon and select a new one. To change text, select it in the property bar or simply double click to edit. You can drag elements around or drag new ones in from the file manager. Stay tuned for more. This is just the start to get you going.